I'm super excited. As we are at the Mount Washington Cog Railway. And it's so exciting to me because my dad rode this when he was a kid, and I, but I have a picture of him that was taken on the platform up here. So that's pretty neat. It was probably about 95 to 100 years ago. And these guys participate in Harvest Hose, so we get to spend the night here tonight down in the parking lot. Temperature ever was 72 degrees. Average grade is over 25%. So is that a new sweater? Don't tell John. That was an earlier stop this morning, wasn't it? Okay. We were the only ones here last night, as you can see. And it was very quiet, although when I opened the door this morning, I realized that they leave the steam train running. And you can hear it, but we didn't hear it because our windows were closed. It was cool enough last night. I want to share a couple of tips with you if you decide to come and do this Cog Railroad, which I think is only one of two in the United States. The other one is at Pikes Peak. First tip is do not take the steam train. It's too sooty and it's slower. And the other tip is to sit on the north side of the train because that's where the views are the best. We were lucky to be able to get a nice view when we were there, but quite often it is enshrouded in clouds like it is this morning. Also, it is very expensive. I think a hundred bucks per person is just a bit steep, but um, if you want to spring for it, you've got a spot to stay in your camper van. of people have told me that we need to do this Kankamagas Highway, but we're here and we'd have to go backtrack around here and then come across. So there's another, there's a local road that we might take down and at least get this last part of it. Let's do that. We 
had not planned on visiting Acadia National Park, thinking that campgrounds would be full. But a friend urged us to check, and sure enough, we found openings at Skudik Woods Campground. We are leaving our first camping site at Acadia National Park. We have five nights here in total. We had to move a couple of times to get sites, but our last three nights were in the same spot. But it is gorgeous. It's, it rained last night a little bit, and now the sky is blue, and we're going to go out and explore. We have to be less than 21 feet to drive Cadillac. And so we're going to remove the trasheru because it adds, uh, well, it makes us 21 feet, 5 inches. I was a little concerned we wouldn't get in because some people consider this an RV and it said no RVs, but I really think they just mean uh, but yeah. less, but yeah, <laughs> anyway. At 1,530 feet, Cadillac Mountain is the highest mountain on the eastern seaboard of the U.S. and the only one in Acadia with a road to the top. too tall, don't you think? I don't know. Bridge ahead. Max, max height, 10 feet, 4 inches. Stay back. Oh boy, go down the middle. Oh, oh he's good. That's the side is tip. I'm going right yeah. down the middle. She went right down the middle. There we go. Okay. Here is our site number two. And it only has um, 20 amp. It doesn't have 30 amp, just 20 amp at this site. Of course, you always want to make sure you have the right adapters for whatever comes up. And isn't this a pretty little spot? Be a little cooler than yesterday. There are 45 miles of historic carriage roads for non-motorized uses, including Class 1 e-bikes. What's the matter, John? You got problems with your shoes? <laughs> Owen, help me get rid of my squeak. Driving me crazy. John is regaling me with his stories of talking to the uh, office up here, the people that pass out information. Oh, I said, wife's been editing video all day long and she's gonna need a little break after dinner, go for a little walk, couple mi mile in, mile out, what could I do? She said, well, there's this one it's called Fraser Point, but it's rather steep. I said, well, I come to the Sierra Nevadas, 14,500 feet down the sea level, how steep is this? And she said, oh, 150 feet. <laughs> That's steep. <laughs> Coming to the bottom of the trail. Nice bridge. Wow. If we had class one e-bikes, we'd be here. Hey, show me about the squeak in your shoes. If you did, what would you do? Oh man. We are off to ride a ferry today across to Bar Harbor, and uh, we'll see what's over there. It's, they said there's some museums over there. And yesterday we did the Cadillac Summit Drive, and uh, it was really crowded. I don't know that that's an essential part of visiting Acadia. And then today when we get back, we will have our third campsite, and this time we will be staying for three nights in the same spot. The ferry building is about five minutes from here. It's at Winter Harbor. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get going.
there's the ferry. This is the ferry coming in from Nova Scotia. Throughout town are these really nice signs that tell you some of the history of places. And this house here, John Rockefeller rented the cottage and also this guy named McLean, whose wife was the owner of the Hope Diamond. A really nice lady who's a local walking this really smart dog. The dog knew to lift its leg to get over the leash. It was amazing. Anyway, she gave us directions to get down to the door, the what's left of the door house. This was eventually the home of George Vanderbilt. So this guy is the one credited with founding the park and he was the first superintendent. It's a 30 room summer cottage. So you follow the trail and you can see evidence of the former home and grounds. Well, there must be some sort of guide, John, <laughs> that tells us what these things are. I'm guessing the trees were gone. They had a view of the water. Uh, oh, look at this. Nice herringbone pattern. And then the tr path down to the water. RV parking, but there's not much of it. Blueberry crumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. John walked to the bakery. <laughs> See what it looks like. Open oh, I'm her. sure it's delicious. Open her up. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Oh, 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 oh. John has been talking about the fact that we've not seen much pie on this trip. Where was the last place we had pie? Uh, it was in Utah, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Utah. That yeah. red barn red or barn, whatever yeah. it was called. Yeah. That's so, just too long to go without yeah, pie. Yeah, that's too long. It's a 1.7 miles each way walk to get down there. That's, that's some dedication for pie, John. We are at our new campsite, actually. This one has water hookup. And it's really pretty big. It's got uh, some... We actually might have a fire. Somebody left some firewood here. If it's not raining tonight, we'll have a fire. Okay. Okay, here's the bite. What kind of blueberry? You want the ha left half or the right half? I want both halves. <laughs> John thinks we have a pie problem. <laughs> it's a cold and wet day here in Maine, and we're going to go on a hike. Not too far away, we're tired of sitting in the van. But first, we're gonna dump the tanks. We keep hoping that somehow the levels will fall down to zero. <laughs> they never do. Without intervention. Without <laughs> intervention, yep. Glacier. Oh, look at this, John. That's a glacial erratic like we saw up in uh, Oregon and Washington. Neat. This is just a 2.4 mile hike, Anvil to Alder Trail Loop. Here's the trail, Anvil Trail. This area feels like the hobbits live here. It really is amazing and steep too.
and we are back at the beginning. Blueberry Hill. If you're ever here, you need to go to me and Ben's. Really good sized portions. John got the blueberry espresso Ew. twist. I got the chocolate vanilla because they don't have maple coffee here. But not as good as a creamy, but it's still good. On our last day in Acadia, the sun came out and we drove the Skudik Peninsula Loop Road, stopping at the Skudik <gasps> Institute. So my goal for the day was to get another video edited so before we go into Canada. Verizon gives you 500 megabytes a day, which is nothing. So I got that almost done. I'll be done today to upload it. And then uh, I said, John, let's go on a hike. And what did he say? Do we have pie before or after the hike? <laughs> <laughs> what would you like before, before. <laughs> okay and then we'll unhook and go for a hike because we had a very late we had brunch not breakfast or lunch so that's been calling to him so here's the secret if you want to make sure you get some whipped cream you get yours first before you hand it off to him because he will finish off this entire can with that pie <laughs> On our last day in Acadia, the sun came out and we drove the Skudik Peninsula Loop Road, stopping at the Skudik Institute. This is the Skudik Institute. I don't really know what they do. This is our welcome center. <laughs> so we have displays over there on what the Scudic Institute is all about. Education, research, science. Um, also, this was a former naval base. So there's a history room oh. over there too, kind of explaining what oh, they good. did here and so on. It was uh, mostly radio communications, mm -hmm. mostly radio signals. They were intercepting. Yeah, the U.S. Navy radio center. Oh, okay. Okay. This is the Sundew Trail. And we parked here at the Skudik Institute. It's a beautiful campus. They actually have events here. They have uh, lodging for the events. Man, they got everything. Trail starts at the heliport. Which one wins out, the left or the right? And most times, most often it's a tie. <laughs> Here's the lowest price we've seen in a while, five seventy-five, and we are about ninety minutes from the border. <laughs> 